in finding ways to tackle the monkey situation in St. Kitts. A recently conducted monkey summit was held by the Department of Agriculture. Presented our remarks by the Honorable Eugene Hamilton, Minister of Agriculture et al. in this SKNIS current speeches. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Agriculture and monkeys don't go together. In fact, I see no monkeys here. And it tells me something because this species, these intelligent species, are not here. I'm beginning to wonder if the fault is that of our Director of Agriculture. Because had it been communicated well enough, I'm sure, these, these monkeys are so intelligent, they would have been here. But um, I was in a forum, I won't say which forum it was, and I said in that forum to my colleagues, don't guess who I'm speaking about, that we're having a monkey summit. And everybody crackled up with laughing. You're having a monkey summit. So I am thrilled that we're having the summit because the results of the summit certainly would reach those colleagues of mine. And it, I'm sure, will shape policy making and drive solutions that will help us, especially in agriculture, to benefit from those policy decisions and decisions that we make. Farmers and householders alike will tell you that when it comes to fruit and vegetable production, the monkey is a pest. There is evidence to support this view. In fact, in an anthropological study done by Dr. Kerry Doerr, one of our presenters today, more than half of the farms in SKB experience monkey damage, she, she recognized. Further, of the more than 250 crop farmers previously registered with the Department of Agriculture, more than 100 or so, somewhere about 40%, listed monkey as a major constraint to production. Government has identified agriculture as an engine for socioeconomic development in the Federation. Mitigating any threats to the sector is therefore an imperative of government through this ministry. For example, we have to find ways to increase water availability so that we can produce in agriculture, a mitigation measure. We have to reduce peridial larceny, another measure. We have already significantly reduced the cost of fencing wire to allow crop farmers to limit damage from pigs and other roaming animals. Likewise, we must find ways to reduce crop damage by monkeys. I'm still looking, Mr. Director, for the planting of four or five acres of sugarcane near the hillsides, because I understand that monkeys do love sugarcane. And if they, if they sugarcane high in the hillsides, perhaps less and less will reach to our lowlands where the farmers operate. In considering the available strategies to achieve our policy intentions, however, the ministry is cognizant of the fact that not all sectors hold a grim view of the verbat monkey as agriculture does. The African verbat monkey is for many a very valuable resource. Monkey vendors satisfy the tourist's desire to pet and take a picture. Some chefs prepare monkey as tree mutton. Don't know why they call monkey meat mutton. Of course, Tour operators are delighted when monkeys turn up in their natural habitat so that the tourists can see them as they pass by. And we are also well aware that monkeys are a valuable resource for anthropological studies 
and for biomedical research. It is with such an awareness that this summit has been formulated. It would not make sense for various stakeholders to emerge with different plans to suit their particular perspectives if each of the stakeholders is to apply what seems to be best for that stakeholder, it certainly will be in conflict with what other stakeholders would wish and will not be good at the national level. This will result in competition for scarce resources and also result in the duplication of effort. What we have organized here today instead is a meeting of the minds, not necessarily like-minded individuals, but all with a stake in the management of the local monkey population. Today you will hear from government and private institutions and from local and international experts. There is no plan, let me tell you my friends, for us to eliminate monkeys. Certainly not from the landscape of St. Kitts and Nevis. If you are an animal lover, take comfort. We expect that objectives will be crafted and that realistic targets will be set based on this summit and other stakeholder consultations. Targets that will engender one health approach where the well-being of both animals and humans are considered. Objectives that will seek the advancement of the various stakeholder individuals and organizations that are represented here today. If the solution is to be supported, it must be beneficial to all. When we say sustainable, we mean that when the next monkey summit convened, say in 20 years time, with a new generation of farmers and researchers, it must be to share success stories in monkey management. It must not be to rehash the same old stories we have heard over and over. We must therefore set objectives with respect to monkey management with specific time frames in mind. There must be a spirit of cooperation among stakeholders and in a situation where the physical and financial resources are limited, our greatest assets are our minds. Government alone can only do so much. There is, however, a wealth of experience and know-how outside the realms of government. Farmers have know-how. Trappers have know-how. Vendors have know-how. Researchers and government and all of those stakeholders must act with one purpose if we are to address an issue that has now outlasted the sugar industry. Ladies and gentlemen, I won't pretend that the task is an easy one, but we cannot stop trying. This summit is expected to present information that is critical for all persons to know. The information and data must be used to drive decision making and for crafting policy and guidelines. It is important going forward that the facts are shared, shared with both local and foreign entities, especially those who would treat us, who would try to paint us in St. Kitts and Nevis in a bad light because of some of the misinformation that is sometimes circulated so easily and maliciously. We trust that the information coming out of this will therefore be positive and show St. Kitts and Nevis in a much better light. I now want to suggest that it is important going forward that those charged with fund finding solutions pursue their task relentlessly. Monkeys are quick to adapt to new situations and they are also quick to adapt to new strategies. So we, the more intelligent species, must always be one step ahead. My government stands ready and willing to give support.
in whatever way we can. So that the data that is derived can help us in government, indeed as a nation, to formulate strategies, make policy decisions that will guide the conduct of all of the stakeholders as we go forward. I want at this juncture to congratulate the staff of the Department of Agriculture for their vision and for organizing this summit. It is no secret, my agricultural friends, that farmers have been giving you in this department a very bad name. I hear them from time to time. Monkeys doing me bad and the people of agriculture ain't doing nothing to help. I just hear them. So I trust that because of this effort, those farmers who are here and those who will benefit from the work that you do here today will commend you for this important effort. I look forward to hearing that from the farmers as I visit with them from time to time. I therefore commend this summit to a resounding success, especially because the expected benefit for all sectors, all interest groups, and all individuals is important to us as a nation. Thank you very much. Visit the SKNIS on YouTube to watch informative, exciting, and thought-provoking programs such as Working For You, Current Speeches, SKNIS Exclusives, and much more. Hit the subscribe button to be alerted when a new video is uploaded. What are you waiting for? Head to the SKNIS and start exploring.